welcome back to the Habit Podcast series. Dave here again. Happy to be with you. I'm going to say something extremely controversial. Ooh. Um, yeah, I'm going to say something that's probably going to make people go, what? Dave, have you lost your mind? What is going on with you? Why are you posting this podcast episode? Why would you name it? Why static image posts on YouTube are the best. What we've got here is failure to communicate. What is wrong with you, Dave? Uh, we'll find out in a minute. Let's see if I've lost it. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. Coming up on the How to Podcast series. You ready? Here we go. Some viewers may find the following disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. So, static images on a YouTube post, a YouTube channel. So, for my podcast, I have six podcasts that I do on a weekly basis, and I've run into a problem. And I figured out I can solve two problems with one solution, and that is creating a static image post with an MP3 attached to it, posting it up to YouTube, and solving two problems at the same time. Problem number, problem number one, one of my podcasts, I can only upload about 10, 11 episodes a month with my cap for how many hours are available. Uh, but I have more interviews and more recordings than I have time to release. And it is the beginning of September 2022 for me. I have I've uploaded my next round of 11 podcast episodes, which will take me to episode 61, 62. I have 89 episodes recorded and finished waiting to go up to my server, to my host. And I have to wait now. So any new interviews that I do from today... So beginning of September on, are not going to release until possibly January of next year. So as a guest coming on my show and the excitement and the fun we have together, and then I have to break it to them that their episode is not going to be available for two to three months as I wait for my host to reset, like reset and allow me to upload my next round. That's a terrible problem. It's a huge problem. And I'm getting buried in new content. Nice problem, right? <laughs> getting buried in new content for this podcast that I am trying to find a way around. So to combat that, what I've been doing is taking a... I go on Canva. I make a YouTube uh, thumbnail. And then I attach my finished MP3 file to the thumbnail. And then I upload it to YouTube. And and then I'd be able I can share that with my guest, and they have the uh, an MP3 version, so it's not the video version, it's not the actual video interview, at that point, and they have something they can share and listen to and send out to their community. Again, it's not the best. YouTube is a video platform, so we're looking for videos, not a picture. But I get to help my guest with content within days instead of months waiting for my odd audio version to end up available to everyone. So I've answered a problem and fixed a problem for my guests by getting their podcast out earlier with a static image and the MP3 attached. And I get to load that up to YouTube and send them the link and off we go. I can start promoting it. And what I tell my audience on social media and through my podcast is if you want a sneak peek and you want to get cut the line and get ahead of everybody else, head over to YouTube. Here we go. Inside scoop, behind the scenes, beyond the velvet rope. You get to go and see and experience a podcast in advance of anything you're going to hear on any audio version app. Apple, Google. Spotify, whatever. 
you get to go to YouTube and hear it first. And you know what? Even all those gurus uh, that tell me that you should never do this, like this guy. If you're posting static posts and you've just got an image, right? You've got how long will someone look at that image? They won't look at the image and sit there and look at it for 10 minutes and go, yeah. If you turned on your TV tomorrow, you went home and you put Netflix on, they're like, right, top thing on Netflix is this new program. Great. You went and clicked it and then it just sat there and it was just an image. Yeah, I get what he's saying. I understand that YouTube is not meant for a single image just to stare at one picture. But do you know that people listen to YouTube and do other things? Like they stick their phone in their pocket or whatever. And they just listen. They do. I do. I'm not the only one in the world that does this. So there's not that. It's not that bad, guys. So everybody that tells you never, never, never do this. They're not thinking wide enough. Okay. So by using static image posts to YouTube. Again, it's a picture that I create in Canva, the YouTube thumbnail, and I attach my, my MP3, my finished, mixed down, complete podcast episode. It's my intro, my outro, the whole interview, everything. I attach them together. Image, MP3, attached. I upload it to YouTube, and it lives there. Again, my guest gets to have access to it. We can promote it. We can start talking about it. The recency is there. I can. There's one person last week where I interviewed them and had their video on YouTube the same day. I can't do that through my posting site because I have to wait. And they're queued up. They're episode 89. Uh, sometime in January, you'll end up on there. That's that not doesn't work. So my, my guest gets recency. They can, we've had a great interview. It's top of mind. They're ready to share it. Here you go. Here's something to fill the gap. And that's all it is. Fill the gap. The second thing that this solves for me is YouTube becomes a storage place. Google Drive, Dropbox, those are storage sites where you can store something. But you know what? Nobody accesses them except for you. Why not? utilize the fact that YouTube has no caps. I have no limits. I, and YouTube never doesn't say, hey, 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 that's enough content, Dave. No more. We're going to cut you off of this many uploads per month. YouTube doesn't do that. I use YouTube in my static image MP3 combination. I use it as a storage place to house my podcast episodes in the unlikely event that my computer decides that it's time for a long-term holiday and shuts down. And I lose, potentially lose access to some of my files. I'm using YouTube as a Google Drive, as a Dropbox. It is a place for me to house and store my entire library. And you know what? People are listening. People are watching. People are clicking. And I'm seeing amazing results in a very short amount of time. I get to create all my show notes in advance. I make my show notes as a part of my YouTube upload. My YouTube thumbnail becomes my Facebook post. I create a smaller version in Canva. There's a button. If you have the pro version of Canva, you can click a button that says resize. And you can actually just take the exact same work that you did for the thumbnail and resize it into an Instagram square post. So now I have an Instagram square post. I have a YouTube thumbnail, which I repurpose as Facebook post. Those are two pieces of content that I can share with my guest. I have a link to my YouTube version, which is my static post, my image, my MP3. I send all that to my guest. And now they have something to now promote the podcast. And again, you get to get out of the line and get access to a podcast episode that anybody on an Audible app can't get. That's called bonus content. That's called 
building excitement and it's working. So for all those experts, like the guy we just heard from earlier, that tell you that creating a static image post for YouTube is a waste of time, I don't think they're considering what we've already discussed. Your guest gets access to the podcast episode sooner. They don't have to wait. I'm not bound by my cutoff limits by my hosting site. I don't have to pay extra to gain extra hours so I can post more. And I'm not flooding my listeners with episodes. This was never meant, this one podcast in particular, Living the Next Chapter, was never meant to be a daily podcast. But I have so many episodes right now that I'm drowning in content, which is great. I have so many amazing guests to share their stories, but I don't want to wait three months for me to share their episode. The episode goes out on YouTube through a static image post, and I have a backup where I can access it anytime from YouTube, and YouTube hasn't had those limits. It's great. It's really, really a win win for podcasters. Now, I know there's going to be podcasters that listen to this and experts <clears throat> that listen to this and will disagree completely, but they're looking at it through a different lens. So for a new podcaster and you want to save money, you don't want limits on what you can release, use YouTube. And you're asking, Dave, how do I take a picture and attach an MP3 to it? Very simple. I use this, and I've been using this for a long time. I'll put it in the show notes so you don't have to write this down. There'll be a clickable link. You can go there, and I'm not getting paid for anything. That's not how I do things. It's called oneimagevideo.com. And when you go there to oneimagevideo.com, you'll see on the screen, it will show you in this yellow box, it'll say, Select PNG JPEG file, and there's a little button that says Browse. So you click it, you go to wherever you downloaded your Canva thumbnail for YouTube, and you click on that item, and it goes into that line. The next line it says Select MP3 file. You click where you, you click the Browse button on the screen. You go to wherever you've housed your finished MP3 file, the file you would give to your hosting site to post to your Audible audio versions of your podcast. And then you hit the button that says Upload. It chugs away in the background, takes a few minutes, and then at the top of the screen it'll say Completed with a check mark, and it'll say Download File, and give you a file size, how many megabytes. You click on the Download File. It comes back to you as an image, as an MP4. The image and the audio is connected together now as a file, which is YouTube compliant. You go into YouTube, you create a playlist, upload it. And if you have a Google account, a Google Gmail account, you already have the bones to create your own YouTube channel based on that. So you sign in as your Google account and off you go. You've got now have a place for your guests to access the podcast in advance. Your listeners can get a sneak peek. You are not bound by any limits as far as how much you can upload. And you have a, now have a backup of your podcast in the unlikely event that something tragic happens with your computer. Does any of that sound bad to you? And if you get 10, 20, 100, 200 downloads, or visits, or listens, or views on YouTube. Is that a big deal? Is that going to hurt your feelings? No. What I like to do then is I will leave that up as just the the static image. I will then come back in with the actual video of the interview complete. as I And I can do that at a separate time and not feel pressure and rushed to do all this work for my guest. The the longest thing it's going to take for you after you're done recording and you've mixed your MP3, and you're all done, is going on to Canva. There's a free version. You can go to canva.com. Use the free version. You can go to templates. You can click YouTube 
thumbnail. You can make it look all pretty, do all the things you want to do, upload a picture of your guest, whatever. Create your thumbnail. You have your MP3. And oneimagevideo.com will take these two, put them together, and now you can upload them to YouTube. So, to all my friendly experts out there, thank you for your opinion. But for those of us that are looking for a great way to reach our audience, I'm challenging you. Try one static upload up from your podcast and then send me a link. Do it. All my information you can find through the website and the show notes. I will go and like and comment and share your static image post for your podcast. And I will share it and tell my guests and my uh, my audience to do the same. So send it to me. I'd love to hear your feedback. Go to the website in the show notes as well and hit that little microphone button and then tell me where you're listening to the podcast from. And I'd love to share that with the audience as well. It's a how to podcast series. It's really simple, guys. Use static image posts to YouTube because it works, despite what all the experts say. Catch you on the next one.